So welcome everyone to this uh, seventh part of the OpenGL 2D game programming series. Um, so uh, I will we'll complete the game here now today um, and if you made it so far then um, that's great and let's now just complete this short video, uh, video and complete our game. So here's what we had uh, after the uh, previous part, part 6. If you've not watched that, you need to watch this now because uh, the code I'm using here was written in the previous parts. So uh, in the last part, we had everything except the uh, body of the snake and we have already done everything. We just need to draw the body of the snake and also implement the logic for increment of the length of the snake uh, each time it uh, hits the target and uh, um, to a certain limit. Uh, after that, the length of the snake will not increase. And we'll also implement the system for the counting the scores and the score will be displayed uh, in the message box when the game is over at this place. So first, uh, we need to go to the game header file uh, and uh, define a variable which will, the, which will be the maximum length of the snake. So 60 will be the maximum length of the snake. Uh, the, the snake cannot grow for the uh, more than 60 blocks. So it'll its uh, growth will be uh, uh, stuck at 60 blocks and it will not increase after this. <clears throat> so now uh, earlier we had to store the position of only the head which was the green colored head of the snake. Uh, so we were using two variables position x and position y. But uh, now since we'll have to store the position of the all the blocks that consist the body of the snake so the body of the snake will just be the multiple number of blocks which will uh, come behind the main head of the snake so we need to store the positions for all of them so we need instead of single variable we will now define arrays so the arrays should be uh, equal to the maximum length of the snake which can uh, so snake can grow uh, up to 60 blocks and so the array should also be equal to 60 so two arrays of uh, which can contain 60 elements and now we uh, so current uh, at the start the length of the snake will be equal to a certain number of blocks so we'll set it to Um, 55 uh, blocks will um, make create an integer variable to store the length of the snake which will be equal to 5 so initially the length of the snake will be 5 so when the game starts we need to assign the positions of all these 5 blocks and rest the game will take care of itself when the snake grows or when it moves so initially the position of the first uh, 5 blocks um, will be stored in these variables first 5 elements of this variables um, so we need this lake snake length uh, to know that how many elements we need to use of the array and the rest will not be used because the snake is not that long. So snake length equal to 5 uh, means that only the first 5 elements of this, uh, these position at x and position y will be drawn. And when the length grows to 6, the, posi uh, the position of the 6th element will also be assigned and, simil uh, and so that will also be drawn. So first we need uh, so we need to position the snake vertically upwards um, so for that the exposition of all the uh, blocks should be same so if we want it at the center of the screen so the coordinates will be 20 so of all the five elements will exist at the value of x axis equal to 20 and for the y axis uh, we need to uh, so we need it vertically so the uh, position of the element number 0 means the first element will be uh, if it is 20 then the position of the next element will be 19 and similarly it will decrease for all the elements so it will be placed vertically upwards so 20 19 18 17 and 16 now we have the positions of all of these um, and now we can um, change the function which draws the snake so this draws the snake so um, now how will you assign the positions to all of these five so these the, the other blocks um, other, uh, except the main head block so the head block will be drawn according to the direction here according to the user input and the, all of the other blocks will trail behind the 
uh, main block so this means that uh, the position of these blocks will be swept like the position of the head block uh, will now become in the next frame will become the position of the block preceding the head block and similarly the position of the block which was preceding the head block uh, will I mean the position will be swept so um, and is in an easier way to explain the um, position of the last block will become the previous position of the second last block and similarly the position of the second last block will become the pre previous position of the third last block so this will be swept uh, and we, we will not change the position of the the head block the element number zero uh, so um, here we will not change the position and its position will be assigned at this point and then we'll draw all of these elements so let's uh, just create a loop to do the algorithm which I just told you so uh, uh, so we need to add a minus one here because the element uh, the snake length is a natural number so it is from one to five like but uh, the array elements start from zero so if the length of the snake is five so elements should be zero to four so I'm adding a minus one for that so since uh, until i is greater than <coughs> zero i does not need to be zero to run this because the position of the element number zero will not be signed here as there is no block as uh, the element number zero precedes no other block so um, a new position will be assigned to element number zero if you're not understanding this so i will just try the code here and you'll understand it all Okay, so now we'll swap the, uh, I'll swap the positions. Position x of element number i will be equal to the element preceding it. And similarly, uh, I'll do for the position y. And so we have swapped all of these positions. And now the element number zero will be given position here so we'll just change this variable because we've made an array out of it now here and now we'll have to draw the body of the snake so for that we also need to use a loop to draw all of these all of the element all of these elements So the number of elements will be are equal to this length of the snake. So since I until I is less than uh, snake length, so now we'll draw all of these elements. So the head will be drawn in a different color than rest of the elements. Um, so if the element number equal to zero then the color will be green i do not remember the colors from the um, demo of the game the version of the game that i showed you at the starting of this series but uh, the game will be pretty much the same just uh, some differences of colors uh, and if it is not the head element then color will be blue Um, and now we'll draw the draw the respective element and I'll remove all this this is not in, in use anymore so now the collision detection for the food as well as the boundary uh, will change this so we need to do the collision detection test only for the head element because all of the other elements uh, trail behind the head element so at a position where the head element has not gone through the other elements will not go so if we just do the collision detection for the head element it will be enough so only the element number zero the first element or the head element so the head of the snake element number zero similarly for the the collision detection for the food so now this should have a snake on the screen if it does not have any bugs
okay it has one i is greater than, oh i forgot to add this oh my god i'm not that fast okay so this is working fine now but uh, the length of the snake is not increasing yet so we also need to implement some logic for that and after that we'll implement the logic to count the score of the player so the length will increase if it hits the target so now we need to put braces here because we are going to add some more statements um, so the first thing um, the length of the snake will be increased and if this snake length has increased more than the maximum length so we'll check it uh, if snake length is greater than max then uh, snake length equal to max so it'll be again set to maximum value which is here 60 so if the snake length goes greater than 60 it'll again be set to 60 so after the snake has reached 60 blocks then it'll not grow any further and so this will be for the increase of length and the uh, positions of the elements that are coming up after the fifth element will be all taken care of this the position will be assigned to them automatically and they'll work automatically here and now we also need to count the score of the player so for that um, I'll declare a variable score it will be initially zero in our main file because we need to use it in the both files so in the game.cpp file uh, I can use the extern pointer to reference to it um, extern score oh it's an integer and so now the score will be increased each time the snake hits the food Um, and now we need to print the score onto the message box which is displayed at the end of the game But before we do that, uh, let's just check if the length system is working fine and there are no any bugs in the code so um, We'll now notice that if the length is increasing. Yes, it is if it if it did notice the length of the snake did increase And it is increasing each time you hit the target So now we'll just count the score, um, score will increment by uh, 1 each time it hits a single target. So uh, we are <coughs> counting the score here uh, in this function, uh, in this loop, uh, each time it hits the target the score is increased. But uh, the message box uh, only takes string arguments to be printed onto the screen. So the score is currently in the form of an int integer so we need to convert it to a series of uh, string of characters so that it can be printed on the screen so for that you need some utilities which are present in the um, std lib.h file the standard library header for c++ and c so the utilities are present here to convert your integer to string so the function actually before we know that we first need to declare a variable which will store these string values so there'll be it'll, it'll be the array of characters um, so we'll name it underscore score because we have already declared the variable score so we need to do something different and so i think that the score value will not go above the uh, above a certain limit that we will need more than 10 bytes to store it in a string because there will never be so uh, char uh, characters that uh, there will never be more than 10 number of characters in the score because that's uh, totally too far from the limit so um, the size of the uh, array is enough if we keep it 10 so now I'll uh, show you the function so it is i2a which converts an integer value to characters so the first argument is the value the integer value which is score the second argument being the <coughs> destination so destination buffer 
the third argument here it is written red x so it is actually the base of this first argument so it was a decimal it is a decimal value the de it has decimal base so the base is 10 so we need to supply it because it is it, it also uses binary or hexadecimal value so we need to specify whether what value is it so we were using decimal values here so we'll pass 10 here so it has now converted it and you cannot directly just print uh, the score to this uh, to your this message box you need to catenate concatenate the this, this underscore score string with this string so you cannot directly do that that in here so you need to do it separately so we must declare another array we'll call it text uh, 50 will be enough for this so your score and we'll end it here now we will use the function strcat string catenation function to join these to add this string into this so the destination and the source and now we can print the destination string here and now we'll check if there are any bugs and if the game is running fine and so let's check if the score is working fine so I hit one target and now it's two and I hit the boundary okay this gives the fine result your score two so I just I hit exactly two targets so the score will keep on increasing uh, as you keep on hitting your targets so uh, this is pretty much the same game which I showed you at the starting of this series so I guess we're done here um, so um, here I finished this series and um, if you want uh, to watch another OpenGL videos there on my channel you can go on there and watch them um, and I also have started a new series for uh, programming uh, OpenGL development using C Sharp um, using the OpenTK <coughs> library um, this is pretty cool C Sharp as is a pretty important language and if you want to learn OpenGL using that you can go and watch this that series although only one video of that series has been uploaded yet and I'm working on the uh, other videos and about the development log of my game snowman run um, I'm also working on that but um, I promised weekly development logs but instead I am going to um, present them uh, as soon as I have made a considerable, considerable amount of progress which will take time because I'm busy uh, because I'll, I'm also having my exams and other stuff so this is all for this video and thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video uh, um, but not of this series this is the last one so um, thanks for watching this whole series also and goodbye